Hi there, students. Nescient, an adjective, or a noun for the person. Nescience, the quality of being nescient. Okay, this is a really formal word. It's quite a good word. It means ignorant. Yeah, it means somebody who um, doesn't know about something. So, yeah, nescient politicians talking about subjects they have no knowledge of whatsoever. So, nescience, ignorance, uh, lack of knowledge about something. Yeah, so he's a nescient ignoramus. Yeah, he's uh, uneducated, uninstructed, unschooled. Yeah, he's just so nescient. Um, he gave a very nescient explanation of the problem, which uh, highlighted his nescience about what he was talking about. Okay, so nescient, lacking knowledge, ignorant. Um, when I discover that I'm nescient about something, I usually want to learn more about it. Yeah, particularly different types of food or different cultures. Uh, I'm absolutely certain there are many fields in which I am uh, nescient. So lack of knowledge, lack of awareness about something, ignorant about it. Um, let's see. I think you could also probably use nescient to say that you didn't know. I was nescient of the true facts when I made my statement, yeah? I didn't know about them. Um, he, uh, his actions were nescient, and if he had known, he would have acted differently. So, unaware of, oblivious of. Um, notice, this is really quite a formal literary word. Um, I think uh, if you want to insult somebody and co by calling them a nescient, I think that's quite good because if they are nescient, then uh, they're just not going to know what this means. Now, nescient actually does have a different meaning. Nescient can also be uh, used to refer to um, an agnostic. Okay, an agnostic is somebody who believes that it's impossible to tell whether God exists or not. And nescient means um, that only uh, you, you think that only material, tangible phenomena can be known about it. And knowledge of spiritual uh, things is unmeasurable. Yeah, it's just impossible. And therefore, an agnostic says, I don't know whether God believe, exists or not, because it's just not possible to know. Um, so that's, that, that is uh, re really the other meaning of it. So uh, a nescient philosophy, agnosticism, is a philosophy of nescience, of not knowing about it, of not being able to tell. Okay, so nescient, uh, lacking knowledge. Um, education is going to be the solution to nescience among the general population. Okay, formality. This is literary and formal. I think I'm going to give this a seven in formality. I think if you use nescient in a semi-formal conversation, it might be acceptable, although I have a feeling that most native speakers are not going to know what it means. They're going to be nescient of the meaning of nescient. Okay, so semi-formal writing, formal writing, something literary would be a good place to use it. And then as to origin, it comes from Latin, nesciens, meaning ignorant or unknowing, from ne, not, and scio, I know. So, nescio, I don't know. Okay, so a, a nescient, an ignorant person, somebody who hasn't studied. 
uh, an illiterate, uh, an unschooled person, untaught, an ignoramus, something like that, not having had a good education, not knowing about something. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Now you are no longer nescient about the word nescient. Bye for now.